At just 17 years old, Michael Nsinga is helping run this local business that sells spices. He's part of a program called 13, a social enterprise. Based out of the Parkdale Food Center, it teaches young people how to be entrepreneurs. I feel excited to, to actually join 13 because actually before I never knew like exactly like what I'm trying to go into but like because of joining 13 and then I gained the confidence of me being like because I'm trying to do marketing or business but like joining 13 it made me feel comfortable. Hey. The program is made up of mostly newcomers to Canada and Singa joined a few years ago after moving from the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Now he's a mentor to new youth in the program. This program is important for young people because a lot of young people are out there that don't even know what they're trying to do, especially teenagers. While the spice business has been running for a few years, it's the first time for this physical store. It's called the Social Market. It also carries products that support social causes like food banks, clean water initiatives, and employment opportunities for people with disabilities. A lot of people have been coming in looking for local products and being able to have something to offer them that also has a social cause attached to it has been really meaningful to us. Sales from the spices go back into running the program. For a lot of people who are just coming to Canada, they might not have those connections. And so to have a place like this for people to gain that sense of community and those connections that they need um, was important. Lebin Omar was a student in the program and is now employed as its social media and marketing coordinator. It gave me a sense of leadership that I want to work in uh, is the I want to work for the UN. So this kind of gives me like uh, how to work with youth, how to work with kids. The physical shop closes on December 23rd, but products will still be available at the online store. The goal is to keep the space after the holidays, but details are still in the works. Updates will be posted on the social market's social media. Krista Lee Ramlikan, CBC News, Ottawa.